Hello, everyone. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Great. Yes. Great. Let me just make sure I have my name correctly here. How's it going, guys? How's your Friday going? Good. Very tired. <laughs> Very tired, huh? I am good. I work it all day. <laughs> all day? Yes, teacher. So you made good money today, huh, Josh? From six, six o'clock to six o'clock p.m. Wow, six a.m.? Yes, six p.m. to six p.m. Perfect, perfect. So what's your plan for the weekend? Huh? What's the plan? Do you have any plans for the weekend? What are you doing tomorrow? I'm going to sleep. Sunday. Sleep Maybe all day? You sleep, sleep more. <laughs> Little more time. Yes, for sure. I'm, I am going to sleep every day. Uh, all. all day long. All day long, yes. <laughs> you deserve it, man. You deserve it. Uh, because you work from Monday to Friday, right? Yes. Yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard. Who works tomorrow? Who ha who has to work tomorrow? Repeat. Who's working, who's working tomorrow? Uh, me teacher. You're working tomorrow? From from uh, eleven o'clock tomorrow. Oh, okay, that's a little later then. That's a little later. Yes, only only five hours. Five I hours. <laughs> five yes, hours. Only five hours. Yes. Uh, who is working on Sunday? Does somebody work on Sundays? No. <laughs> Nobody. Day off. Huh? Day off. Great, 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 great. Let's go ahead and call the attendance. Call the attendance right now. And then we will give you the instructions for today, speaking day. Today is a speaking day as much as we can, as much as possible. Let's see, Ana Julia Mallorca Rodriguez, are you in the house? Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there. Uh, Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here, teacher. That's a pity. Already. Uh, <laughs> Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present teacher. All right. Nice to hear. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present teacher. Woo, I can hear you very well today, Damaris. Your internet connection is working well today. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. Present teacher. Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Cortez. Present teacher. All right, Mejia Cortez. No. And... Okay. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. I am here, teacher. Perfect. Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Present. All right, perfect. Emma Jamilet Corea Madrid. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Josivet Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. Thanks. Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. 
who's oh no, it's Joel Ulysses Menjiver Mendoza. Josué Neftali Cibrian Hernández. Present teacher. Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Manuel Alejandro Varias Arce. I'm here, teacher. Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman Santos. Present teacher. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Present teacher. Okay, welcome to class. Paulo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. René David Calderón Peñate. Wow. I'm here, teacher. Oh, okay. Sandra Janet Vasquez Cortez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Sara Maria Molina Cubies. And Saul Arnulfo Menjibar Crespin. Present, teacher. I'm here. All right. What happened yesterday, Saul? I'm sorry, teacher. I was very busy. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you are familiarized with the, the topic we began last night. And let me see. We have a chat. Whose chat is this? Okay, my internet is slow now. Oh, <laughs> that's Karen right there. Okay, so we were talking about conditionals, if you might remember. And you already know the structure, so we're going to go ahead and check on these questions and have a little talk. Try to give me your consequence, your job. We exercise, we will be healthy. All of these examples show a possibility of what might happen if. I will give you some possible situations. Try to give me your consequence using the structure learned. Don't forget to write them on our discussion box. If you study English. If you lose your job. Okay, the first one is if you study English, right? I want you to create more personal, more personal thoughts. Okay, as a consequence, if you study English, that's the first one. If you lose your job. If you lose your job, what could be the consequence using this first conditional? What will happen? What can happen if you lose your job? If you have children. If you have children, in case you don't have yet, right? <laughs> um, in case you have children, we're going to switch it over and we will ask if you didn't have children. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make you think. So if you didn't have children, what could be the consequence at this time or in the future? Or in the other way around, if you have children, mm -hmm, what could be it? Don't forget to write your consequence. So we have three, three different situations <laughs> and you will talk about the consequence. You guys are ready for it? Let's get started, right? Let's see the first, we have a chat. Present, I was, it was hard for me to enter the meeting. Okay, it is, thank you for reporting. Appreciate it. We appreciate that. Okay, Josue, go ahead, tell us. Uh, for example, uh, if you drink alcohol, if you drink alcohol, uh, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't uh, drive. You can't, you can't drive. Correct. Good? Correct. If you drink alcohol or alcohol, alcoholic drinks, you can't drive or you could better use uh, shouldn't. You shouldn't drive. Okay. It's not recommendable. All right. Thank you so much. Somebody else. But the example, the first question wasn't that, uh, dear. The question was, if you study English. Let's start. Let's start. Let's hear volunteers. Do we have volunteers? If you study English. 
Go ahead, uh, Brian. I will get a good job. Definitely, you will get a good job, a much better job than the one you have right now. Another volunteer, come on, if you study English, come on, if you study English. You can talk, if you, if you study English, you can talk with a Chinese person, Chinese people. Let's use could. Could. Could you, you, could you talk? You could talk with the uh, Chinese people? Yeah. Chinese people speak English also, huh? Yes, old. Okay. Thank you so much. Somebody else, if you study English, where are the ladies? Where are the ladies of this class, huh? If you study English, uh huh? I will buy my house in San Salvador. Definitely, you will buy your house in San Salvador in your favorite neighborhood, especially now that is safe, safer than other years in the past. Thank you so much. Somebody else, if you study English. You become bilingual. Repeat. You become bilingual. Uh, put will. You will become. You will you become. Will, you will become bilingual. Yes, definitely. Sooner or later, guys. Sooner or later. Some people take a little bit. Some people really take a while. You know, but persistency is the key. Persistency. If you are willing to practice and study, do your homework, uh, attend class like you're doing right now, right? Practice in your free time. You will make it. You will make it. Okay, let's switch to the next question. The next question was, um, if you lose your job, if you lose your job, could you tell me what could be your personal consequence? What do you think? Brian, Mr. World wants to open up. Go ahead. Uh, my family will be starving. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. My family will be starving. And, and well, everybody, right? Everybody in the family, even the pets. Even I the can pets. See the future teacher. Yeah, that's that's a very good prediction, very logical. Somebody else. I will don't have money. I I won't have. I won't, I won't have. have a money. Money. I won't have money. I won't have money. Yes. I won't have money. I won't have money. The negative of will, right? The negative of will, will not. I will not have money. I won't have money. Somebody else? Teacher is correct. I can't take my family for a walk. Yes, it's possible. I can't take, right? I can't take my family for a walk. That's right. That's right. Um, if you if you lose your job, for example, if I lose my job, guys, I, I will be very sad. Very sad. <laughs> Definitely. And we won't have class. And we won't have this big privilege, which is <laughs> sharing, interacting, practicing English with so many, with so many interesting people, right? Because Elmer is in one place, Oscar is somewhere else, uh, Byron is is far from here. I mean, we're not even close. I mean, it's only people that have the same interest, growing, right? Okay. Continue, please. If you lose your job, let me hear Oscar. Oscar Guardado, do you have an example? If you lose your job. Uh, maybe 
I have to put a, or I have a, my own business. Maybe, uh -huh. well, you can say I will, I will generate, I will create, generate. I will have yes. my own business. You, you right. don't have to, to, to put all the X in the same back. Correct. Box. You have to put it at the X in different bags, in different baskets. That's very smart. What about Sarah Molina? What will happen if you lose your job, Ms. Molina? <laughs> what? No comments? What about you, Carlos? What will happen if you lose your job? Mm. No comment. <laughs> well, create your answer. What about Saul? What will happen if you lose your job, Saul? What could be the consequence? I won't uh, win, win money. Okay, we're gonna substitute. We're gonna substitute that verb, and we're gonna say earn. Earn, earn money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Earn. Yes, you won't earn money. You won't buy your uh, favorite things, right? And teacher, there yes. will be more money in my account. There will be. There will be less. Less. There will be less money. If you lose your job, there will be oh, less okay. money in your account. Yeah. All right. Marbelli, do you have an example? I will not visit my parents next week. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Next weekend? Uh, it's not logical. It's not logical. Marbelli, the first sentence is, if I lose my job, what happens if you lose your job? Are you working? I'm sorry? I work. Mm, it's not logical. If you lose your job, Marbelli, if you lose your job, you will not have a salary. Do you understand? Okay, Elmer, give us your consequence. What happens if you lose your job, Mr. Salas? I don't know, teacher, but I don't, I won't have money. <laughs> yeah, you will have your pockets and your wallet empty. My wallet will be empty. Totally empty. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, what about the last question? What was the last question? If you have children, what happened? Okay, if you have children, give me your consequence. If you have children, oh my goodness. We're talking about children. Children is plural. Must, it's not one baby. It's not one baby boy. It may be three, maybe five, maybe seven. <laughs> so what will with, happen? With, in, in my case, I have two children and I am very busy for them. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oscar. Okay, Oscar, you have two children. Two children, yes. Okay, congratulations. So the situation <laughs> for you is this. The situation for you is this. If you didn't have children, if you didn't have children, uh-huh. I will have uh, a lot of time free, a free time, free time. Correct. I will have a lot of free time. Yes. I will have a lot of free time. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead, Brian. You're welcome. Say um, I will be born. <laughs> All right. That makes sense. Somebody else? If you have children, if we, if I have children, 
Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> you don't have children, do you? I will. Yes, I have. I had three. Oh, children. you have? Yes, three. Okay, three. three okay, children. congratulations, yes. congratulations. Now, uh, in that case, from, let's say, let's say the six. opposite way. If you uh, didn't have children, Jose, what happens if you didn't uh, have children? My life, uh, my my life uh, won't have won't uh, have uh, action. <laughs> Oh, okay. Can I say action? Yes. Action. action. <laughs> little more stress. <laughs> All right. Capiche. And me, teacher. Go ahead, Iris, please. I call go. I call go out often with my <laughs> friends. Uh, it's necessary. <laughs> okay. Let's check that pronunciation, Iris. Uh, I could. Okay. I, I could, could go I out. I could go. Oh, repeat, please. I could go out. Go out more often. often with my friends. More okay. often. More often with my friends. Okay. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Good example. Good example. Okay, if you have children or if you didn't have children, what about? Another volunteer. Let me see. Manuel? Is is that you, Manuel Barias? No. Okay, what about Karen Garcia? Okay, what about what about Sandra, Mrs. Sandra? I saw some Sandra here. Oh yeah, Sandra Vasquez. I'm here. Sandra, do you have children or you don't have children? I don't have. You don't have children. Okay, so um, what happens if you have children? What happens in your life right now or in the future? If you have children, let's suppose. I can go out with my friend on weekends. <laughs> if, uh, <Okay. laughs> and another is I have a children. If I, if if I have if, children. If I have children, I don't have a a little time. Mm. Oh, free time. Uh, uh, if with future, I won't have. I, I won't, won't have. have. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. My pleasure. Thank you for your participation. Nice sure. job. Yes. Uh, if I I don't have a children, uh, I will I will. Okay, we lost connection. I can't hear you no more. Okay, we lost connection. Okay, let's go. Let's go back here in. Uh, talking about this um, first conditional, guys, do you remember the structure? Can you can you remember the structure of this first conditional? First, we use the one clause. Do you remember the clause? Mm, that was if, teacher. Correct. If. if. Okay. What goes next? Uh, simple present. Oh, yeah. Or subject, fact. subject, yes. If you, for example, he, for example, she, for example, okay, after the subject. The verb is present simple. simple the verb present. in simple present. Notice that if the, if the subject is he, she, or it, you still need to comply with the third person modification on the verb, right? Um, okay, after the verb? Compliment. Okay, compliment. Very well, very well. Now, you put a comma, you put a comma, and then you go with the consequence. Do you remember the structure for the consequence? Um, subject. Subject, okay, subject. Auxiliary will. The auxiliary will is the module verb. Module, module verb, verb will. You can use will. You can use won't. You can use what else? 
Uh, can, could. Correct. Can, could, and may. Okay. You also, you can also use might, right? For possibilities. All right. That being said, that being said, I want you to prepare. I want you to prepare five examples right now. You're going to present five examples orally, orally, right? Um, three are going to be personal examples. Three are going to be personal examples, complete examples, starting with the if clause. For example, if if I turn if I turn 60 years old, I will be resting every single day of the rest of my life. Okay, so three examples like that. Let's just say three examples. Let's just say three examples to make it, not to make it so complicated. Three examples, personal examples, using the first conditional. Try to use for the consequence, try to use will, want, may, may not, right? Could or couldn't. For example, if I don't have, if I don't have um, a good job, I may not go out on weekends, okay? So let's prepare three examples individually using the First conditional, I'm gonna give you what? I'm gonna give you, let's say seven minutes. I'm gonna give you seven minutes for you to prepare. Start preparing. If you have any question, let me know. Okay, and in seven minutes, we will start presenting your examples individually. Let's work. Excuse me, teacher, I have a question. Yes, what's your question? Is uh, the First, uh, on uh, person is is a first or and the three or the singular. No, it's just for you. Make it personal. Make it personal. Okay. Using I subject I. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and work. Seven minutes, guys. Let's go. Three examples.
Alrighty, guys, it's time. It's time's up. I want to hear that information, music to my ears, examples using the first conditionals by intermediate level two. Let's start with Brian, Mr. World in the house. Go ahead. Uh, okay, teacher, if I bet, I could have problem. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I do my homework, I will have free time. Yes. If I don't eat, I will be starving. Yes, that's true. That's true. Excellent. Yes. You got that right. No observation, no Thank correction. You. That's your target. Mission achieved, sir. Mission achieved. <laughs> Let's go with Josh Sivrian. Okay. Uh... If I live in another country, I would I would miss eating pupusas. Ooh, ooh, definitely. Really? Yes, definitely. Uh, number two, if I didn't I didn't go to the gym. Wait, wait, wait. I if I don't, if I don't, because this is I, the first conditional. If I if I don't, don't if I don't go to the gym, I was not in poor health, healthy. Mm, are you using simple past? I was. We're not using simple oh. past. We oh, are okay, not okay. using simple past. This is the first conditional. What is your third example, Josue? What is your third example? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you only have two? There, uh, uh, number three. Uh huh. If I didn't learn English, no, I couldn't. I'm sorry. 
You're okay. moving to the second conditional. Slow down, sir. This is the okay. first conditional. Pay attention to the rest of your classmates. Who's next? Okay. Who's next? Come on, participation. Okay, let me go with Ana Mayorga. Say your examples, please. If I have a new house, I will be very happy. Excellent. If I um, have um, another job, mm -hmm. is, um, a, um, very Oh, or 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 less eh, es, stressful, menos estresante. Wait, wait. But if you just said if I if I have another job, si usted tiene otro trabajo, right? Uh -huh. If I have another job, what is the consequence? Um, menos menos cansado. ¿Cómo usted estará, usted estará menos cansada uh -huh. si obtiene otro uh -huh. trabajo. Yes. Ah, entonces sería, um, if I have another job, I won't be tired. Mm. I won't be tired. Okay. okay. Do you have one more example? No. No. Okay. Good enough, Ana. Good enough. Check your corrections. Let's go with Elmer. What you got, Elmer? Okay, teacher. If I have many money. Much. Okay, much money. I could travel around the world. Yes, I could travel around the world with Mr. World. <laughs> All right. I'm here. <laughs> Next. If I finish the homework, I will have free time. Definitely, yes. That sounds familiar. In example three. Uh, if I can sing, I will be very famous. Very famous, <laughs> just like Bad Bunny, huh? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> could be, could be. All right, let's hear Oscar Guardado, what you got? Okay. First conditional, guys, first conditional. If, if I were a child, I would play soccer every day. I mean, that's correct, but that's not the first conditional. In the first conditional, we're not using simple pass. We okay. are not using simple past. Are you mixing up the first conditional with the second conditional? Yes. I do did. you have? <laughs> Take it <laughs> easy. Hold your horses, guys. You want to go very fast, huh? I want to go step by step. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, the first conditional, we said that we start with the if clause. Yes, the subject. Okay, I, and then you need a simple present verb, and then the complement, then the comma, and then you open another idea for the consequence. On the consequence, you start with the subject again, in this case, I, and then you would use will, you will use want, you will use uh, may or may not. Yes, Oscar? Yes, no problem, sorry. No problem, let's go with Byron. What you got, Byron? If I don't have a car, I will to go by bus. I will to go, I will go. I will go. I will go. I will yes. go by bus. Yes. Next. If if I don't if I drink water, I won't have healthy problems. Correct. Excellent. I won't have <laughs> health. Health. Health, health, health. problems. Problem. Health problems. Okay, and the last one? If I have a good job, I could rest on weekends. 
Oh, yeah, definitely. That's pretty yeah. much an office job, right? Something like that. <laughs> Great work, Byron. Next, we have Iris. Very participative today, Iris. Go ahead. Okay. It's difficult pronunciation, but... But um, I'm here. I'm here to help you. Okay. If I go to the beach, I am up a tanner, tanner, relajada. Uh, relaxed? Relaxed. Okay. I hit up relaxed. Okay, uh, but, and no, but no, is relax is is bronze, bronzeada. Tanked. Ah, eso. Okay. I will get. I will get. Okay, and the two is if I have a new time, I can spend more with the children. Eh, if, uh, if I, if I, I have more time. Si tengo suficiente tiempo, puedo pasar más con los chicos. If I have more free time. Okay. If I have more free time. More free time. I can. I speak, will. I, I will, will. Spend it. Spend it. I will spend it or I will spend my time with my children. Okay. And the three is if I go to bed early, I wake. Up more relaxed. I will. I will I wake will. up. Yes, uh -huh. I will because it's a future consequence. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I will wake up more relaxed. Definitely. Thank you, Iris. Let's go with Josue Sibrian. Okay, it's me again. Uh, if I have a car, uh, I will. I will uh, spend much money. <laughs> yeah, on it, okay. on it. It's good. On it. Solo agregale ahí on it. On it. Uh -huh. On it. Like I will, I will spend much money on it. On it. Okay. On it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, number two. Mm -hmm. uh, if I have uh, more children, I won't uh, have more time free. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's you will good. need you will yes is correct you will need to to watch more netflix yes <laughs> yes <laughs> only movies <laughs> no all right more. joel let's go with carlos portillo if i finish the platform today i can rest the weekend Correct. I can rest during during the weekend. Continue. If I have time, I call go to the gym. If I have time off, if I have time off, I it's will a, go. Is a half time if, off? If, if if okay, if I have time time off. I call go to the gym. I could. I could. I could. I, I could. could go. I could go to the gym. I could go to the gym. Something else? Uh, yes. Is I have Amazon if, Prime if. video. What happened with that pronunciation if. and if? With if. <laughs> if. <laughs> if I have Amazon Prime video, I call or watch the Lord. Of the rain series. The long of the Lord of the Rings. And, and the module verb is could. I could watch. Cool. I could. Cool. Could. I could. Yes, yes. The letter L is silent. The letter O is silent. Okay? You pronounce the yes. D. U and D. Could. Could. Thank you so much, Carlos. Let's go with Elizabeth. Good evening. Go ahead. Okay. One. Mm -hmm. If I had studied distance, I would have a better job. Excellent. Two. Two. Yeah. If there, if there if there wasn't heavy traffic, 
I would like to ride the bike to work every day. Are you using simple past? Yes. I yes. If there wasn't heavy traffic, I would like to ride the bike to work every day. I mean, I mean, it's all right, it's all right, but we're not using the conditional, the second conditional. In the second mm -hmm. conditional, you use the simple past, but today we are studying the first conditional. So in the first conditional, we use only simple present. And then on the consequence, you use will or want, you use a modal verb. Do you have an example in simple present for us? Because that's what we're studying. The first conditional. Okay. Do you have a simple present example? Yes. Okay, go ahead. If I live me if I live near to my sister, I could see her. Good, I could see her more often, more frequent. That's correct, that's correct. Do you have one more example? That's all. That's all, good enough. Thank you so much for your participation. Okay, let's go with Saul Jiver. Go ahead. Okay, teacher, the first one is, if you rest, you will feel better. Excellent. Okay, the second one. If I get a new job, I will buy many things. Perfect. That's good. And the last Okay. I will travel around the world if I won the lottery. <laughs> great <laughs> job, Saul. You did great. Creative, creative, correct, and good pronunciation. Congrats. Let's go with Sarah Molina. What you got, Sarah? Okay. If I exercise every day, you will have very health. I will have. I will have. I will have be better, better health. Better health. Health. Better health. Health. Yes. health. Better health. Next. If I, if I practice my English class, uh -huh. I will learn faster. Correct. I like that one. I like that one. Next one. Um, if I have vacation at work, <laughs> I could go on a trip to Paris. I could. I could. I go. could go. I could go. Could. Yes. Yes. Go on a trip to Paris. To Paris, France, to Paris. Paris, huh? Paris. Mm -hmm. One more example? Only. <laughs> Only that is all right. Good enough. Joel, do you have something for us? Do you have your hands raised? Joel? Yes, yes teacher, yes. Okay, share, please, um, share, share. If I, if I have a bike, I could save money. <laughs> yes, and do exercise, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. If I won the lottery, I will buy my own house and I will put my own business. Excellent, good idea. Next example. If I have a car, I will go out with my family every weekend. Excellent, excellent. Thank you for your participation. Let's close with the last dynamic. In this dynamic, I'm going to start with the if clause and you're going to think of a consequence and you're going to chat the consequence here in this chat in Zoom. Are you ready? Number one, you have to write only the consequence. Chat only the consequence. I'm giving you the situation. Listen to the situation. Number one. If I travel to my past, 
if I travel to my past, prepare the consequence and chat it. Chat it. We're not gonna say it, we're gonna chat it. Put Repeat it on the chat. Teacher, sure, it is, sure. If this activity is orally or in the chat. In, in, you need to chat it. You need to chat it. You need to chat it. If if I travel to my past. Come on, be creative, be creative. Use the modal verbs. Just will, just want. I'll give you 30 more seconds, 30 more seconds. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Let's check what we have. Let's check what we have. Let's check what we have. Okay, Rene says I could chance. Oh, maybe you wanted to say change. I could change my present. Wow. Change is the verb, okay? Change. Not chance, but change. Make the correction there, uh, Rene. Brian says, I would visit to... You will say, I would visit my great-grandmother. No preposition to. No preposition to. I would visit my great grandmother. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. My pleasure. Carlos says, um, if I oh I, you wrote it all. I like it. If I travel to my past, I would buy the lottery. Okay, you, you could buy the lottery, definitely. Um, uh, Brian says, I talk with myself. Oh, I'll talk with myself. Oh, you're gonna get crazy. Let me see. Joel says, I would probably change my mistakes. Definitely, Joel. Good job. I would probably change my mistakes. I like that. I like that consequence. Joshi says. I wouldn't do many things. Okay, okay, that's more more um, serious, right? Elizabeth says I could know I could know new places. Okay, could be. It says I would spend more time in Mexico. Okay, if you travel to your past, you would spend more time in Mexico. Josue says I could hug my father. Oh, nice. Saul says, I didn't, you still, you still using the simple past. We're not, oh my God, I'm going to get a headache. Uh, students, I'm going to get a headache tonight. <laughs> well, let's call the attendance real quick, guys. Thank you so much for your participation. You really rock and roll. Definitely. You really rock and roll. Let me call the attendance real quick. No homework for you this weekend, right? I'm sorry, last Monday I was asking you for a homework. I'm not gonna do that again, okay? So there's no homework for you this coming up win weekend. Let's go with Thank Anna. You. Yes? Thank you for no homework. Hey, hey, but you gotta practice your classes. You gotta practice this first condition now, okay? Yes, the platform. Yes. The platform. Please, you have homework to do. Okay, Ana Julia Mallorca Rodriguez, are you there? Present, teacher. Thank you. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present, teacher. Brian Eduardo Mundo Medrano. I'm here, teacher. Carlos Fernando Portillo Rivas. Present, teacher. Damaris Merari Marroquín Rivas. Present, teacher. More participation, Damaris, okay? I need more participation. Yes? Damaris? Yes. Oh. Okay. I hope, I hope. Daisy Magdalena Hernandez Hernandez. 
Elizabeth del Carmen Mejia Torres. Present teacher. Elizabeth, okay. Elmer Mauricio Salas Rojas. Present teacher. Good participation tonight, sir. I need you like that, okay? Thanks, teacher. All right, Elvia Sofia Perez Castaneda. Emma Jamilet Correa Madrid. Giselle Cecilia Osorto Rivera. Josibeth Abigail Miranda Chavez. Here, teacher. Thanks. Iris Rosario Benitez de Hernandez. I am here, teacher. Joel Eulises Menjiver Mendoza. Present teacher. All right, Karen Elizabeth Garcia Carpio. Missing in action. Manuel Alejandro Varillas Arce. Present teacher. Okay, Marbelli Jocelyn Aleman de Santos. Present teacher. Marbelli, okay. Monica Marisol Ramos Flores. I'm here, teacher. All right, Monica. Natalie Geraldine Flores Galdames. Nelson Rolando Melgar. Oscar Eduardo Guardado Delgado. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes Pineda Alvarenga. Patricia Verónica Salazar de Morales. René David Calderón Peñate. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Janet Vázquez Cortés. Present. Sara Maria Molina Cubías. Present, teacher. All right, Sara and Saul Arnulfo Mejibar Crespin. Present, teacher. Guys, uh, you make this class pretty fun, pretty interesting. Keep it up. Enjoy your weekend. You deserve it, as you said. Go and have a lot of a sleep. You deserve it so much. Uh, me, I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> but I look forward to seeing you on Monday. You enjoy your weekend, okay? Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Thanks, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you soon. Bye -bye. Tomorrow, no. See you, see you on Monday. Oh, sorry. See you Monday. Bye -bye. <laughs> Unless Bye -bye. in the meter. <laughs> Take it easy. <laughs> Take it easy. Happy weekend. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.